Last night, a guy in a turtle costume grabbed the straw out of my drink, threw it on the floor, and said, That's for my homies. And he's a real one, that one is. He's fighting for his ride or dies till his last breathing breath, no matter where he is. Hello, and welcome back to Calvis. My name is Quiet, and today we're going to be looking at some r slash mad lads, a subreddit dedicated to just the maddest of lads out there on the internet and in real life. Just doing some mad lad stuff, doing the mad lad thing. Anyways, let's just jump into it. Ricky Gervais just made an Epstein didn't kill himself joke. The audience at the Golden Globes groaned. Ricky Gervais said, shut up, I don't care, I know he was your friend. I, I saw the entirety of that opening thing and there was like some cold bombs in there, like he frees some people's nuts off. Start your year off right. On December 31 at 9.15pm, get under your covers and fall asleep. Midnight will pass as you are deep in a peaceful slumber, and your first encounter with the new year will be waking up, well rested, to a morning bast in sunlight, and a day that's yours for the taking. No, I am going to do coke. Mm, you know what, I feel like drinking coca-cola is a decent way to celebrate the new year maybe you're on some kind of diet but hey it's a party night cut loose a little bit safely of course you cannot reply to this conversation anymore yet another thing they should have seen coming uh, i hate this image because it's so low quality that i can barely make out what's being said but i will do my best to read the images for you hey i love seeing cats in theaters that's awesome. What was your favorite part? When they lost Sven. Come again? None of the cats are named Sven. Sven T million dollars. <laughs> cats movie has blocked you. Should have seen that one coming, buddy. <laughs> Avarice mad lad. Porn the straight lion. I tried seducing my teacher and now I got court next week. Avarice, seduce the judge. <laughs> This is like a choose your own adventure book where you can just go for like the most hardline unlikely options, but still make it through. From First Mate Prance. In 2017, a party I threw got busted. So I put on pajamas, sprayed axe in my mouth, cover up alcohol, and hopped in bed. When the cops knocked on my door, I pretended like I had been trying to sleep and the party was thrown without my consent. Two slash three roommates got a citation. Guess who didn't? Ah, oh, a true Twitter from iPhone tweet. Me using Snapchat to find enemies during the war. Hashtag World War Three. Hashtag World War Three. And it's the Snapchat dog filter catching all these people hiding in the trees. They're everywhere. Mad Lad came back to life. Extinct bird re-evolved itself back into existence. Okay, that is literally the hardest shit I have ever heard. Yeah, my species went extinct, but we just evolved ourselves back to existence. I just willed my existence to happen again, because that's how it works, apparently. Florida man breaks into jail to hang out with his friends. Is Florida even real? Trust me, I've been there. It's very real. The mad lad trying to sell Coke on Facebook, and he's got a little baggie of very, very fresh carbonated Coke, it would seem. Bag of Coke for sale. 4,000 pounds! God damn! He's really hustling, though. Not gonna lie, he do be hustling, though. They got him there, boys. Where you at? Turn around. No, the other way. What? No, behind you, you idiot. Where? Oh, I'm in the auditorium. The thought of you aimlessly turning around amused me. Asshole. He is kind of an asshole, but he's kind of hard as well. He just kind of, he just kind of messed up your crap, bro. Sorry, he got you. I did it. Me posting one half of this meme in 2020, the other half I posted in 2019. Did he like post these like, did he manage to get these posted at 11.59 and then midnight right back to back? Or did he post them like several days apart and then he had to like find his old post and then stitch it together like in, po in pain or some shit? Either way, that's a lot of dedication, whether he that's on timing part or just you know going into photoshop and fixing it up and all that guys who cook deserve unlimited blowjobs hashtag monday motivation from gordon ramsay guys it's posted on reddit and nothing posted on the internet is fake this is definitely real it actually might be real i don't know but it's funny even if it's not from zach mabry who's got a brilliant solution to help a lot of people quit vaping this plant-based alternative promises to help high schoolers stop vaping and what does he show a cigarette it's the solution to all our problems <laughs> mad Lad. 1159 p.m. Taking poop, the ball's about to drop. 12 a.m. Took a poop in between decades. Actually, it's same shit, different day. Sorry, bud, but you messed up on this one and you're getting exposed. Any big plans this weekend? And apparently on a new on a news website, there's an incident section. Young men rent a yacht and it sinks by excess of prostitutes. Damn, those really are some plans. That's, that sounds like some New Year's shit. I feel like saying something is New Year's shit is something you would never want to... I feel like saying something is New Year's shit is something you probably shouldn't use to describe something this close to New Year's. That's like something you say like in the middle of the year when it's like abnormal to hear that thing. So I've messed it up. 
I've birthed a very brilliant saying, if unless somebody else already said it, in which case I'm a thief and a liar and that's not much big news, but either way, I've ruined it. I got pulled over and my vape was in my cup holder and the cop was like, you know the news saying those things are killing people. I laughed a little bit and said, they say the same thing about y'all, lol. He ain't laugh, he ain't laugh. What, what mindset? Why would you fucking say that? This mad lad left a nice message for his peers in the yearbook. Thank you blank high school for teaching me friendship, understanding, community, kindness, youth. I've been taught youth. I've been taught how to be a toddler, optimism and unity. Now, the real message here is uh, very interesting. All these lines might make you think that you're supposed to look at the first two letters of each word, but it's actually just the first letter of each word that you're supposed to read. And it spells out, fuck you. You can test that. I'm not just shitting in your mouth. Bruh, I went to see Star Wars and this girl is legit playing Mario Kart. Depending on who you ask, she made the better decision. A bold strategy, but it just might work. Here we have a picture of a uh, very crudely drawn penis, uh, just spray painted over a pothole. Rare.us. Man spray paints penises on potholes to get town to finally fix them. Modern problems require modern solutions. What's the other one? Adapt, improvise, overcome, something like that. Speech 100 from an army recruiter. I see a lot of passionate posts regarding current events. Well, step up. Let's turn those Twitter fingers into trigger fingers. I'm hiring from the Navy. He's got like Brendan Fraser hair from like a distance. I don't know, man. I don't trust them. I don't trust the man with that kind of hairstyle. But apparently this was posted in r slash memes and somebody didn't crop the watermark. How dare you? No fucks given. All star, but you can't hear it. Although your pet can. I played this on speaker to see if my dog would react. He just went downstairs and shit on the floor. Thanks, Joe. Joe who? Joe mama. Ha 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 ha. Phil the mad lad. Well, I did it, and apparently Phil shaved his mustache. I hate seeing it. I don't, I, I'm pretty sure when this image first came about, it was confirmed fake, but I fucking hate the image of Dr. Phil without the mustache. Speaking of Dr. Phil though, have you seen his house recently? That shit is so goddamn funny. You guys know the Zombies Map 5? He's literally got the wall of the guns from the opening cutscene just in his office. That ha it's $5 million and God, if I was stupid rich. God, if I was stupid rich. Playing the Pornhub theme for my Christian school. Those drums have been worn in or maybe they've just been, you know, came on. So I hope this hasn't been posted. Ooh, this this one, this one's a bit risky. We wore our World War One German uniforms to school, and I just love the girl wearing clown makeup in the background, and also Callum Marquis over here to the right, the right in the background that is. On the r slash the monkey's paw, which if you don't know, is a subreddit dedicated to where you make a wish, and then somebody takes your wording to make your wish something it, you absolutely don't want it to be. Uh, and here's the wish. I wish to be banned from this subreddit for exactly eight hours. Granted, but we can only ban in days, so it will be eight days. See you later. Mad scoliosis lad. As a kid, I had to wear a brace because of scoliosis. I was also bullied a lot. In sixth grade, a kid said he was gonna punch me. I said, okay, punch me in the stomach. He broke three fingers on my steel brace and got suspended. I laughed until I cried. He never bothered me again. 12.5K retweets, 184K retweets, 184,000 likes. Absolute baller story. Mad lad, absolutely insane. Orca punch seal, 80 feet into the air. Fucking obliterated. That just looks like, dude, he put him up so high in the background, he just looks like a bird in the foreground. Like he's literally blended in with all like the sea and shit and we were just gliding and cruising around. That's crazy. Mad lad Dolan. I haven't showered since 2018. You mean 2019? No. Huh, so that's why the Airbnb smelled so bad. Selfie thread, let me compliment you. And then Carson sends a selfie of him. And then Pokimane says, you look like a nice guy. Carson's not too, not too happy about this. What the hell kind of a response is this? Another day, King. Another day, King. You will find yourself victorious at the end of this road. It's a long road though, so good luck. Imagine walking two kilometers to hatch an egg and it turns out to be a fucking mad. Magikarp. Magikarp the fish. Imagine waiting nine months to give birth and it's you. Holy shit, you fucking killed her, dude. And everything give thanks to God. So this man in my area took his church to a court over a piece of land, won the case, and came back to the same church to do Thanksgiving for winning his case. Goddamn, a power move. Pegasus Henschlad has gone absolutely mad. Ultimag Fest on Twitter. If you ever wondered why 60 cards is the upper limit for Yu-Gi-Oh decks, it's because someone once edited a tournament with 2,222 card deck with the intent of wasting as much time as possible by shuffling it frequently. These are pictures of the deck box and list. I feel like you could just like beat someone over the head with that, like just kill a man with that. That's a murder weapon. That's not a deck of Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Nice try. Dumbest rumor you've ever heard about yourself. When I was in middle school, people were saying that I was homeschooled even though I went to school. In fourth grade, I went on a two week vacation and miss school and my best friend told everyone at school that I had moved to Russia. Everyone believed it. In fifth grade, I went on vacation again and he told everyone that I died. They believed it again. Interviewer. 
Give me an example of when you've been a team player. Me. Once my friend wanted to sleep with this girl, but she was married. Interviewer. And you? Me. Distracted her husband with an interview. <laughs> now that's funny. That's comedy that I am laughing at right now. We've done it, guys. We've reached peak pettiness. After being banned from popular racing game for inappropriately designed custom paint job, Gamer replicates the car in real life and parks it in front of the game studio's offices. Once he had purchased the real-life rendition of the car in his game, Jason got to work. This would be a great premise for like a mini series on HBO. I want to see that now. Just a mini doc on this dude. From Court News UK. Nurse who set off fire alarm to see colleague's breast bounce as she ran down the corridor is facing end of his career. Ugh. That's a yikes from me, dog. My friend has a dad with Alzheimer's and he caught her smoking and she was like, what's he gonna do? Remember her? That's so fucked. That's so fucked. Not sure if this is the right subreddit, but here we are. Me listening to songs about selling drugs just to go arrest people for selling drugs and then a man takes a selfie in a police car. Mad teacher. My pre-calc teacher got kicked out of the movies once for yelling out diving scores during Titanic as people jumped off the boat and then a reaction gif or a reaction image of a man crying. And then it says AOL in the bottom right corner. God, I miss AOL. I fucked up. Got stopped going through security at the airport. They had to take my cards out of my bag. Needless to say, girlfriend is not happy after finding out I brought Yu-Gi-Oh cards to our no Yu-Gi-Oh holiday. He did it. I am in Washington, DC. Five likes and I steal the Declaration of Independence. Got it! Whenever I, I know MAGFest is a separate thing than MAGCON, but whenever I see MAGFest, I just think of MAGCON and have flashbacks. Not even Florida man. Texas man forges wife's signature and divorces her without her knowing. Fine, I'll do it myself. <laughs> Nearest, when I was young, there were two girls joking about me. When I returned to my old town five years later, I took them both to a five-star hotel room. I told them that I had to go to the toilet, grab my car keys, and drove home without paying for the rooms. Incredible, incredible, outstanding move. He really did it to him. Incredibly blurry, almost unreadable text, the best kind of posts, my favorite kinds. 15 year old boy imitates 14 year old girl on social media to attract a pedophile, then proceeds to attack the pedophile until police arrive, where he then delivers a thumb drive of all the conversations, all while wearing a Spider Man mask. Not bad, kid. Not bad. Florida, I presume? Imagine doing this to a teacher. I once edited a Wikipedia page to win an argument I was wrong about. I can't believe I never thought of that up until now. The amount of embarrassment I could have saved myself if I'd have thought of that. But I didn't think of that. This little asshole wouldn't move his legs for three adults, so this guy comes and just sits on his legs. And he's acting all surprised like you should have expected it, dog. Like I said, children suck. I hate children. They are all very dumb and stupid. Children are dumb and idiots. Babe, I'm a queen bee. I rule. Queen Bee is a whore. Fucks every male of the hive. You can't reply to this conversation. Learn more. Mad Lad and his Mad Pledge. From BP, the first step to reducing your emissions is to know where you stand. Find out your hashtag carbon footprint with our new calculator and share your pledge today. I pledge not to spill 4.9 million barrels of oil into the Gulf of Mexico. A Guide to Better Handwriting for Adults by John Neal, Chalkboard Ortis, and Sign wrote it. Handwriting for Adults. I sent this to my doctor and she blocked me. Day two of sticking my dad's possessions to the ceiling until he notices. This is his phone clip. You spelled ceiling wrong, I will now murder you. You made a typo? Haha, <laughs> your life is now over. Model and actress Anita Ekberg, after being followed and hounded by photographers, beat up one of them. When they threatened to call the cops, she retrieved a bow and arrow from her villa and shot another photographer. 1960. She just looks so nonchalant about the fact that she's literally about to shoot someone in this image. Elon Musk strikes again. One day, Billie Eilish was walking outside and she saw a boy crying. She said to him, Here, kid, have a roll of air conditioning pericoil 1 4th X 3 8 4 10 8 20 meter polyethylene what the f whatever uv protected insulated copper heat resistant to 120 degrees celsius you're destined to do great things that boy was elon musk and elon musk said and i am forever grateful mad lads back at it again just gonna start killing people i don't find funny national suicide prevention lifeline that's dark that's dark but goddamn mad lad playing the long game i'm burying a dollar store skeleton in a shallow grave under my new deck should be funny in 30 some years when the next guy is rebuilding it i hope he enjoys anyways that's all the time we have here today on calbus if you guys enjoyed be sure to drop a like and subscribe and check back tomorrow as we do upload new reddit content to this channel every day if you liked this video there should be another mad lad if you enjoyed this mad lads video there should be another one on screen for you to click on if you're trying to get some more of that stuff anyway this has been quite and i hope you guys have a great rest of your day we'll see y'all next time